One night after a 15-inning marathon, the Reds and Diamondbacks back at it Tuesday. Bottom one, Billy Hamilton dancing off second base. Todd Frazier at the plate. He drills it into left field off Trevor Cahill. It brings home Hamilton from second on the ribby single, 1-0 Reds. Now we go bottom two, man at second once again. This time two men away, Zach Cozart, the slow roller to short. D.D. Gregorius up and fires a close play. Cozart is called out, but Brian Price disagrees. He issues the manager's challenge upon replay review. The out call overturned. Cozart is safe. That prolongs the inning and puts runners at the corners, and it sets the stage for the next Reds batter, starting pitcher Mike Leake. And a grounder, knocked down, but a fair ball. And that'll be an RBI single by Leak to make it a 2 0 ball game. Still 2 0 top four as Leak goes to work. He's in a second of third, two out jam. Martin Prado into shallow center field, out from second base goes Ramon Santiago to make the great catch to close the frame. Santiago back at it, top five, the sharp grounder by DD Gregorius. What a play there by Santiago once again to retire DD, making the nice stab going to his right. The Diamondbacks would not score in the fifth. Back to Leak in the seventh. Now has a 3-0 lead. He's in a first and third two-out jam. Pinch hitter David Peralta represents the tying run, but he lines out to center. Then in the eighth, Leak getting Aaron Hill on the swing and a miss. And the next batter, Paul Goldschmidt, will look at strike three. Leak was outstanding on Tuesday, 7-2, third scoreless, as he gives up just five hits and fans eight on the night. Now we go top nine, Aroldis Chapman looking to close it out. He is on the brink of a milestone moment as he faces Gregorius. Two and two on Gregorius. Strike came out to run the string to 45 in a row. As in 45 consecutive appearances with at least one strikeout, and it comes in Chapman's 100th career save. Reds take it 3-0, just their second win in 11 games since the All-Star break. It took a tidy two hours and 33 minutes, just one night after the aforementioned 15-inning marathon, which took just over four and a half hours.